in this video we are going to create a basic gallery app using jetpack compose we will fetch images and videos directly from devices storage and display them in a vertical grid layout plus when we click on any grid item the media will open off for playback or full screen viewing now before we jump into coding let me show you a quick demo of the app we will be building as you can see it includes basic permission handling for accessing the me devices media once permission is granted we have a grid layout displaying images and videos fetched directly from the devices storage when we tap on an image or a video it opens up for a closer look if it's a video it starts playing instantly now that we have known the goal of the today's tutorial let's jump right into the coding part of the video i am already in empty compose project now in the app label built at gradle file we need to add a dependency for coil for efficient image loading and media 3 for video playback these dependencies are managed in version catalog file you can either pause the video and type them manually or copy them directly from github repository for this project linked in this video's description now in android manifest file we need to add few permissions that we will be requesting at runtime read external storage for me android 12 and below and read media images read media videos for android 13 and above now in main activity let's remove the sample code next in the root package let's create a new package called presentation within this presentation package let's create a main view model class that inherit from the android lifecycle view model class additionally let's define our data class to represent the screen state is loading indicates whether media files are currently being fetched from device is permission accepted tracks whether the user has granted storage permissions media items hold the list of media items retrieved from the device clicked media index stores the index of last clicked media items each media item will contain uri of type string and type of and type enum that holds value image and video we are using mutable state flow to update our screen state and exposing read only state as state flow now let's create is permission accepted function which checks if the required storage permission are granted for android 13 and above we check read media image and read media video permission for older version we check read external storage permission this function then update each permission accepted state to true or false ensuring the app knows whether it can access media files let's define update click index function so that we can update click media index to store its index when a media item is clicked this allows us to track the last selected media item making it easy to open and display now let's create update permission state function to update is permission accepted state if the permission state changes now let's dive in the creating the load media item function first we will set the loading state to true to indicate media fetching process we then create an empty list media item where we will store the images and videos the key part here is constructing the content URA to access both images and videos from the devices external storage we define a projection array uh, to fetch only the necessary columns the id mime type so that we can distinguish between image and video and the date the media was added we also define the sort order to get the most recent file first now we now we query the content provider using context that content resolver that query which returns a cursor this is where the heavy lifting happens we iterate through the cursor to extract the media items id and mime type based on the mime type we check if the item is an image or a video if so we create a 
media item and add it to our list. Finally, after we have processed all the media items, we update the state. We set is loading to false and assign the list of media items to the state so they are ready to display. That's it for view model. Now let's create a main screen file within presentation package. Main screen composable function will have modifier of type modifier and view model of type main view model as parameter. We can consume the view model state as collect as a state. If permission is granted, we can have our lazy vertical grid with three columns. We can pass state.media items to items block and use item.uri as a key since uri for each item is unique for the else part we can we will have a button in the center for launching the permission request now let's define our permission launcher with activity contract request multiple permissions and and in result lambda we will check if all permission is granted then we will update the permission state to true also trigger the load all media item functions to start fetching now in on click of button we will launch the permission request for both Android 13 and above and Android 12 and below. Now for loading state, let's add circular progress indicator to the center of the screen let's also add launch effect block to load permission state using each permission accepted function also let's also add another launch effect block with key state dot each permission accepted which if permission is accepted and media item is empty then it triggers load all media function if state dot click index is not equal to minus one then we will show a media viewer overlay let's create a components package within presentation package and add a file grid item now let's create a grid item composable function which accepts items of type media item and on click lambda as a parameter now uh, this grid item will be will fill max width and be height of 108 dp and let's add some border and clickable lambda also give some background now one cool thing about coil is for android it can display thumbnail directly from video content uri so we don't need to do any separate handling for video thumbnail also to show loader for each uh, thumbnail or uh, image we can add a is loading state and update that state using callbacks like on loading and on success also if type is video then to distinguish between image and video we can add a icon a play icon that's it for the grid item now let's pass this grid item to the lazy vertical grid 
now create a file named media viewer within components package let's create a composable function named media viewer which take on back lambda and type of item of type media item as a parameter let's add a column within it add a button for back and a box for media Let's add some spacing between button and the box. If item, if type of media item is image, then we can use async image composable function. For else part, we can use Android view composable for porting the player view from view system as there isn't any available composable for video playback yet. Let's also define the player for f of type exe player with initial value null. Within the factory lambda, we can initialize the player and set media item as item that URI. Now let's create a player view and set player. on back button click we can stop and release player before hiding the media viewer now let's add the media view viewer when clicked index is not equal to minus one we can get the media item for click index if it's not null then we can call media viewer composable function and on back we can update the click index to minus one so that it will hide also in grid item we can add a check if clicked index is in minus one then only we can call on other items to view now in main activity class let's call the main screen composable within the scaffold and add inner padding for for view model we can lazily initialize uh, the main view model and pass to main screen now for further optimization of image rendering let's uh, uh, add singleton image loading factory just at the entry point mostly used in it is mostly used in compose multi-platform project but we can add it here for optimization now let's create a function that returns image loader this will have lots of benefit when loading image from network as it caches the image since here we are adding caching policy using this cache and uh, size of, with size of 1500 megabytes and memory cache with almost 30 at most 30 percent usage this value can be changed based on the requirement basically this function will further improve the performance like whenever we um, go top to bottom in lazy grid then it will load faster even we can see smooth smoothness when we load image from networks now let's try by building our application okay there is one issue loading state is not changing we can fix this by going to grid item and on success callback we can set is loading equals false and try again by building now it works perfectly as expected that's it for this video thanks for watching and happy coding